Travis Scott's Utopia is nothing short of a production masterpiece and there are so many things producers can learn from it. In this video, we're gonna take a look at every style of beat on the project. So first, let's take a listen to God's Country. God country, this is war. The eerie vocals are perfect for the album, but there are a couple of elements that we need to add before that. First is a simple synth pad playing one repeating chord. As the song progresses, you can hear distorted synth playing the exact same melody as the vocals. So for our beat, I did this. Next, the vocals. I recorded them in and cloned it so we have two versions. The first one, I processed like I would any vocal in my samples. I added an auto-tune, alter boy, reverb, and EQ. However, for the second vocals, I did something a little bit different. They needed to cut through the mix more, so I added a guitar amp and an EQ. Altogether, they sound like this. To finish it all off, I added a synth accent, something that Desright is famous for. The sample is super catchy, but the drums on God's Country have one of the best bounces I've heard in a long time. Let's see how they did it. First, I added a simple clap before moving on to the hi-hats. This is easily the most important part of the beat. There are lots of almost frantic rolls followed by empty spaces, leaving room for Travis. As you can hear, I even added glides to the hi-hats, which adds such a unique texture. Finally, we have the 808. Next, let's take a look at the more melodic side of the album. Tracks like Telekinesis and My Eyes encapsulate this sound perfectly. My Eyes starts with a gentle, synthy electric piano. I use all major chords to achieve this soft sound. That sounds great, but the beat really comes to life with these sudden, harsh notes bursting through the mix. But how do we replicate this? First, I grabbed a much more synthy key sound and copied the chords. Then I added an EQ with a low pass filter and created an automation clip for it. Finally, I carefully picked places for the high frequencies to come back in. It ended up sounding like this. After that are some simple filtered drums, starting with a snare and a perk layered together. Followed by a kick and a hi-hat. After this gentle opening section, the beat switches into a fast-paced trap beat with a glitchy melody. I actually took inspiration for this from Wallace Lane's sample on Telekinesis. They used a thick, filtered synth brass sound to play these melodic chords, so I did something similar. The key to this progression is the movement in the notes. It gives a bounce to the melody. I further accentuated this with the processing by adding a shaper box. Layered under the chords is a subtle synth bass. I EQ'd out some of the low end because we don't want it to be too overpowering. After that are a few accents. And finally, we have a lead which I took inspiration for from my eyes. Next, we need to flip the sample. I bounced it to audio, chopped it up and reversed it, sped it up to double speed, and now it sounded like this. All we have left to do is add some drums. First are some two-step hi-hats with alternating velocities and a few rolls. Then we have a short punchy snare. Second to last we have a classic Wonder Girl style kick and a subby 808. And to finish it all off, we need to transition between the two beats. So I automated the tempo to speed up from 120 to 155, leaving the last chord playing in between that that leaves us with this.
finally, we have the two craziest beats on the album to take inspiration from Hyena and Sirens. I was too dead that's actually a sample from a Zambian song in the 70s. To replicate something similar, I started by laying down this guitar melody. It's very frantic and a lot of the notes are offbeat to give it that humanistic feeling. Next we have the processing, which is the most important part. First we have a compressor, followed by a guitar amp and a harmonizer. Finally we have a half time and an EQ. Half time isn't heard on Sirens, but I added it to leave room for another layer that we put on top. This part was inspired by the intro track, Hyena. The main instrument is a very thin string sound, something like a mandolin or ukulele. I found this free ukulele instrument, copied the melody from the guitar, took out a few notes, leaving us with this. This is the main part of the sample, but we need to add a couple more elements to create the breakdown section that you can hear on Sirens. First, some acoustic drums. I loaded up this contact bank and put down this pattern. And finally, we have a bass. Next, we have the drums. The drums on Hyena are so dark and grimy. Travis said he made a lot of the tracks on Utopia using an MPC, and this definitely has that feel to it. First, I added a couple of snares and layered them with vocal chops. Then I added a shaker and a low dark tambourine. A lot of the swing in the song comes from the kicks. I layered three of them to create even more ear candy. The final drum element is the 808. Now it wouldn't be a Travis song without a switch up. And the switch up on Sirens is actually quite easy to achieve. Mike Dean added a synth pad with some glitchy vocal chops. To finish it all off, I added the breakdown section of the sample back in. I added a different 808 pattern, leaving us with this final beat. 